All right, well, let's see what we got here. I think I got about nine packages here to unbox. Um, let's go big first, man. This is the big one. I kind of uh, semi-opened all of them first so you don't have to wait for me to dig through and cut through everything. Oh, look, a nice little Gokonyu arigatou gozaimashita Nanami. Thank you for purchase for your purchase. You are welcome, Nanami. And this is all. Seventeen volumes of heat. The covers are pretty sick. Of course, Ikegami Ryoichi, fame for Crying Freeman. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been on a big bender buying all the Koike, all the Kano, Seisaku, all of the Ikegami, Kobori, all of that, those guys, all those guys, they're all kind of associated together. So I wanted to get the Heat series, all 17 volumes. Here, let's take a look inside one of them, inside of number one. Oran Seed. I lived in Korea for a short time. I can read Hangul, but I do not know what it means. I can only read the alphabet. But they are in Korea. Oh, well, there's some Japanese, though. I've never read this series, so I'm really looking forward to it. Heat. All right. Um, I'm not going to dig through this too much. Uh, this is going to be the year of Koike. And Ikegami, Kano Seisaku. I'm gonna read just a ton. I've been reading a ton. I'm almost done with Hitora no Musuko. I'm on volume four of that. That is uh, Hitler's Son. It's an awesome series. Wild stuff, wild stuff. All right, let's see what do we have next. Phew. Oh, oh, oh. This is Erogawa Rampo, the famous novelist from the late 1800s in through the early 1900s. Um, I bought this because one of the stories, which one was it? Ikigami. Ryoichi. Again, Ikegami. I told you I was on a bender. One of the stories is by Ikegami. This is, um, actually, this is a three-volume set. This is volume number two, and um, this is the one that I was really interested in, so I found this online fairly cheap. There is Erogawa Rampo, and I shall see how the Ikegami story is. Of course, he does horror, is this the Ningen Isu, the human chair? I would not be surprised. Um, Junji Ito did a human chair rendition. I think that was in Venus in the Blind Spot. Yeah, this looks good. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. Let's see, what do we have next? <laughs> All right. Oi. Gekiga King series. Ah, e, u, e. Oh boy, I had uh, showed one of these before, and then I realized that there was more to the series, so I picked this up. This was fairly cheap. I got it online. Actually, I got all of these online. That's why I'm unboxing them. I decided this month, rather, because I'm a little bit busy this month, rather than hunting at a bunch of shops, that there's some things online that I really wanted to get. So at the beginning of the month, I just ordered everything that was on my in my shopping carts and on my bucket list. 
That cover's sick. Check out her rose tattoo there. Ikegami Ryoichi and Koike Kazuo. Nice 80s vibe, right? Dune buggies are very 80s. Awesome. All right, what do we got next? I've been sitting on these for a little bit, so this is exciting for me to get in here and actually be able to open the manga that I ordered. All right, what do we have here? More Koike, Kazuo, and Ryoichi Ikegami, or Ikegami Ryoichi. I usually refer to everything by the Japanese, you know, last name first, first name second. But then when you want to tag something like in an SNS post, more people use the, in English, more people use the, you know, Western version of the name. So I usually tag both ways so that people can find. No joke. I am on a serious... Koike and Ikegami Bender. The color's pretty sick. Is this a Kai Kamo? God, I can't even remember. Ikiraya. So it must be the Ikira clan. Nothing nothing like a melee of sword fighting inside. Very kill billish. Yeah. That design is pretty sick. Anyways. More Ikegami, more Koike. Give me more, give me more. Let's see, what else do we have here? Could it be more Koike? Could it be more Gekiga King series? This time numbers 51. This is the series one, two, and three. All right. It's early on a Monday morning here, so please bear with me. I'm trying to wake up while doing this. Um, Oniga Hashiru. I actually couldn't find any pictures of the insides of this online, but again, I am crazy for Koike Kazuo, so I just got it. It's only a three volume set. It wasn't very expensive. Um, I don't know if I kept track of the prices, but if I did keep track of the prices, I'll put all the titles, mangaka, and prices in the notes down below. <laughs> Look at that guy get blasted in the face. That's fun. Love me some sex and violence in my 1980s manga. All right, here, let me clear off some space here. What else do we got? Here's another box. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I think I'm gonna have to cut it.
man. And yet, wrapped again. People do know how to ship manga here in Japan. Oh, Fukushima Masami! I just read uh, Saint Muscle. So good. So good. That was my favorite read from January. I just love it. So I've been trying to track down as much Fukushima as I can. Um, I know Fukushima stuff is going to start to disappear in the near future because Manga Zombie is being translated as we speak, which is, it profiles, I think, around 33 uh, Gekiga and Kashihon mangaka. Um, Fukushima's famous because he disappeared off the face of the planet for a while. Um, there's an interview in it with him, and when people see how wild his stuff is, they are going to want to buy it, so I suggest getting Fukushima now while you have a chance. Um, some of the prices can get pretty crazy even now for his stuff, so best to get on it. I am definitely going to do, re after I read this, do a flip through of it, and I'm planning on reading the whole goddamn thing tomorrow. Yes. So stoked. All right, what do we have here? Yet another. Oh, I can't read to me. Wait to read Fukushima. Man, Saint Muscle was so fun. I read that all in one sitting too. It took me about three hours to read the whole thing, but damn, it was good. Saint Muscle, strongly recommended. All right, just released in English recently was Ultra Heaven by Koike Keiichi. Um, the one that was just released stateside in English is the Omnibus version. Um, here we also have an Omnibus version, but there is also this three-volume Tonkobone version. And I had heard from someone in our Discord group, Koenji Shan Reviews, come, there's a link over here in the, in the banner, link down below. If you want to come join our Discord and get some really good manga recommendations, come hop on over there. And somebody told me in the chat that uh, the Tonkobon version and the Omnibus version are basically the same. So I opted for the Tonkobon because it's a little bit more comfortable for me to read, especially if I'm on the train or something like that, than a big ass thick thing like uh, Fukushima like we have here. But, uh, yeah, Ultra Heaven, I mean, it was Heaven's, Heaven's, uh, Gate, and then Ultra Heaven was the re-release, a drug on paper, as it is quoted on the back. Can't wait to read this, this is going to be really fun. Admittedly, um, Koike Keiichi has done every drug on the planet. Okay, maybe not every drug on the planet, but he's done a lot of drugs. And you can see it in his artwork, which is sick. So, Ultra Heaven, I'm definitely going to do a review of this later because it is a cult classic. And if you can find some Koike Keiichi stuff, then do it. Definitely support small publishers that are putting out stuff like this. I'd go get it while you can because I'm sure it's going to sell out. Something satisfying about opening manga. Let's see. Again, more proper packaging. Kind of a pain to open, but at least your manga gets to you in one piece. Dude. Dude, I can't even open it. What's wrong with me? I don't know how to use scissors. I forgot how to use scissors, people. These are surprising me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so recently, this is uh, Akase Yuriko. Akase Yuriko. She hand paints every panel. No black and white. Everything is hand painted. I've heard that this series is available in English as well. Sazan, Sazan and Comic Girl. Sazan to. I don't remember how to read that. Se no. Shoujo. So this is... 
the first one. This is the second one. Maybe I'll open this too. Um, recently, Archipel, the YouTube channel, did an interview with her and an interview with one of my favorite um, mangaka right now, uh, Saito Junichiro, who did Shit Chofu Mystery America. And the interview on Archipel is awesome with both of them. And I was so stoked on her artwork that I decided to pick these up and track down some of her stuff. And I'm actually going to Nakano Broadway today to get two more volumes of stuff by um, Saito Junichiro, who is an awesome follow on Instagram. Follow him as well. Um, yeah, yeah. And to pick up a copy of Shit Chofu Mystery America for a buddy in America. Um, yeah. This stuff is just awesome. But I strongly recommend... Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the Archipel link down below because it's a great interview and it's subbed and everything. And seeing um, Akase Yuriko's um, process, how she paints everything, is really cool. She's kind of got an 80, self-professed 80s vibe. So I'm looking forward to reading this. The color's sick, right? All hand-painted, every damn panel. So she's not putting anything out in weeklies or monthlies. She even says in the interview, she's like, that's just not something I can do because I like my process of painting each panel in detail, being able to focus on detail without time restrictions and restraints. So it's the tonko bone. All right, I think I have one more thing here. My manga haul video for last month is up. 69 volumes of wild and weird, retro, gekiga, um, all kinds of eroguro, all kinds of stuff in there. So check that out and I have a Patreon page, Koenchi Sean Reviews. That's where things like this will go up on the Patreon first. Um, flip throughs of stuff that is too wild for YouTube goes up on the Patreon. And uh, art events, some other things, sometimes uh, manga hunting at Nakano Broadway or other small shops. That's the kind of stuff I also put up on my Patreon page. Only $3 a month. Head over there if you would like more content like this. Anyways, more Koike Kazuo. I don't know who Inoue is, but uh, duet, duet. I think this is mid eighties. Let's take a look. Yeah, that cover's sick. It's a pretty nice one. Duet. Jump Comics. And this is circa 1984. See, I remember stuff sometimes. Forget most shit, but when it comes to manga and release dates, somehow I'm able to remember that shit. Can't remember my own kids' birthdays, but I can remember that shit. Not in the best condition, but it's kind of a hard one to find. And I actually found this pretty cheap. Um, I've bought so much Koike recently that I know the prices really well. So, And I know what's hard to find and what's not hard to find. And this one is a little bit harder to find. So when I saw it cheap, I thought I had better pick it up while I had the chance. Sick covers though. Chilling in a rolls. Actually, I have a friend. His father has a white Rolls Royce. He never drives it. He says the clutch is too, too stiff for him at his uh, age. In the Sahara in Egypt. Oh, check out that. That's a sick cover. Look at the detail of the motorcycle. And the flames on the back fender. Shit's sick. 
Ooh, sexy. Now it's yellow. There's a Tommy gun. Good stuff. Ripped dudes in sexy time action adventure. Man, I just love that stuff. All right, everyone, that is my unboxing of some of the manga I picked up this month, at the beginning of this month. Um, again, hop over to the Patreon page if you want some more content like this, and I will be back soon with more videos of my manga hauls and manga reviews. I have some reviews coming up of mangaka, including uh, Kondomori and Kaze Shinobu. I'm really trying to get like ahead on stuff. And um, these videos come out every Friday at at noon Japan time and sometimes there's other stuff in between like this today which is Monday um, I put up an interview with Matt Hosh from Starfruit Books so check that out that little bonus episode but regular episodes will be out every Friday so keep an eye out for those and thanks everyone who subs likes and shares you are all awesome you're the reason why I do this hitting that sub button really helps me out so Thank you for that. I appreciate it, guys. And until next time, matane.